Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I'm going to talk about a topic that I wanted to talk about a long time ago when Universal announced it, but I thought it was such a super cool subject or topic, and I want to mention now. So, all these images are from Universal Music Group, and Universal, or really, Universal Music is there being a new concept called a U Music Hotel. That's right, a Universal Music Hotel. And obviously this hotel will be <laughs> themed, put air quotes around theme, because I won't have too much of a theme, but it'll be a music theme, of course. And each U Music Hotel is going to feature a state-of-the-art concert venue within the property. <laughs> As you can see, this awesome concept art right there. You can see it's uh, the hotel's wrapping around the actual concert venue, and in that glass atrium there is the, con is the actual concert venue looks like a giant screen so people can see what's happening outside below. And here's an interior look of that concert venue. With the massive, again, massive stage, and a big walkway, and a little tunnel, and space for thousands upon thousands of fans, and some interior balconies. So if you're staying at the hotel, you'll be able to enjoy the concert from your hotel room without having to leave, which is awesome. Which, um... Which is very interesting because I'm sure I know, I'm sure there won't be a concert going on every single day, so uh, that will probably definitely affect the pricing of the rooms. I'd imagine. I imagine if you have a big name guest, say Drake comes to perform there, and the night the weekend Drake is performing there. If you're staying in one of those uh, hotel rooms with the balcony facing the concert venue, it could be upwards of thousand dollars per night. But if there's nobody there, then it could be maybe three hundred dollars a night. So very interesting for the um see the room rates now i wonder and here's the interior of the house but are the of the room by the way looks like it's two stories so these are just really big and expensive rooms anyway but i wonder i hope the hotel is open all the time and again not just when concerts are happening or maybe they'll try to have a concert every weekend, so the hotel's only on the weekend, and all smaller names and big names. It'll be very interesting. It's a very cool concept, and the first three locations are coming to Orlando, Florida, of course, right next to, or right near Universal's flagship property, Atlanta, Georgia, and Biloxi, Mississippi, which is, I've never heard of that, and um, that city, and it's not one of the major cities in the country, so it's very interesting why they chose that one. But in each way, the hotel architecture and design will reflect the community's musical heritage and history. The concept art we see now is the Orlando, Florida one, of course, and I think that's the one that's also going to be the first um, one coming online here. Um, as, for, as far as dates, they don't really say a date, but I expect hopefully by 2025. <laughs> If this concept, if the if COVID didn't kill this concept, which I hope it didn't, because it sounds like a really good idea, then definitely by probably by 2025 or later, this concept will be coming to Orlando, Florida. But what do you guys think of this U Music Hotel? Will you be checking this out when uh, if you're in one of these cities, or will you fly to the, one of these cities to check it out? Especially if there's an artist performing that you really like, will you be considering staying here just to see what's what's up? Um, I'm very curious to let know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates and <laughs> attraction updates as well. Also, as, we as you may have seen, if you're a subscriber of mine, the previous video before this is 14 seconds of the Incredicoaster testing, and that is because YouTube is debuting something called YouTube Shorts, which is kind of like TikTok for YouTube. And I decided I wanted to try it out. So if you like that short and you want me to potentially do more YouTube shorts, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll be kind of, I won't be doing them consistently unless this first one works out. But I'm just, just kind of testing the sub, just testing the idea right now. So but yeah, let me know if you want some more YouTube shorts. Subscribe for more theme park updates. We're on the road to 1,000. Uh, six more subscribers. 940 is our next prize. Some can win a theme park wizard sweatshirt. So that'd be exciting. Um, but yeah, so go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great Hanukkah if you are Jewish, and a great Christmas in two weeks, and just a great holiday period. Stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated if you want, and 
have a fantastic day.